Nicole Oresms on the origin, nature, law, and alterations of money provides a detailed exploration of the evolution of monetary systems, emphasizing the transition from barter to currency economies. Oresms insights, rooted in the 14th century, shed light on the practical aspects and ethical considerations of money, shaping ongoing discussions on economic principles. Dear valued supporter, we appreciate your ongoing support for our channel. For those seeking additional ways to contribute, we offer subscriptions on Patreon and Boosty, providing exclusive perks as a token of gratitude. Join our community and let's enhance this journey together. If you prefer an alternative, PayPal donations are also warmly welcomed. Your generosity helps maintain and improve our content. Whether through Patreon, Boosty, or PayPal, your support is crucial in sustaining our channel. Thank you for considering these options. Links will be indicated in the description of the video. Historical Context Nicole Oresm's work provides a snapshot of the economic landscape in the 14th century, a time witnessing a shift from barter systems to the emergence of monetary economies. Oresm astutely observes this transition, underscoring the significance of money as a universal medium of exchange, facilitating smoother trade. The 14th century marked a period of economic evolution, where the convenience and practicality of a standardized medium of exchange became increasingly apparent. Oresm's emphasis on the universality of money reflects the challenges faced by societies adapting to new economic paradigms. This historical context deepens our understanding of the pragmatic considerations that shaped Oresm's insights, offering a glimpse into a pivotal era where the foundations of modern economic systems were taking root amidst the complexities of societal change. Origin and Purpose of Money Nicole Oresm delves into the roots of money, highlighting the shift towards using precious metals such as gold and silver as a shared means of trade. Oresm's exploration underscores the practical aspect of money, emphasizing its role in streamlining transactions and stimulating economic progress. In the 14th century, as societies sought more efficient ways to conduct trade, the adoption of precious metals as a standard medium of exchange proved instrumental. Oresm's recognition of the practical utility of money echoes the evolving needs of a changing economic landscape. By simplifying exchanges and promoting a common understanding of value, money, as Oresm observes, became a catalyst for economic growth, laying the groundwork for the monetary systems that continue to shape economies today. Inherent Value of Money Nicole Oresm delves into the essence of money, contending that gold and silver possess intrinsic value owing to their scarcity and practical utility. Oresm's perspective diverges from modern fiat currencies, emphasizing a historical understanding of money's worth rooted in tangible assets. In the 14th century, the scarcity and usefulness of precious metals provided a tangible foundation for the value assigned to money. Oresm's argument sheds light on a stark contrast to contemporary systems where the value of money is often detached from physical commodities. This historical perspective prompts reflection on how evolving economic paradigms have shaped our perception of currency and value over time. Oresm's observations challenge us to consider the implications of transitioning from tangible, commodity-based currencies to the more abstract, trust-dependent systems prevalent in today's financial landscapes. Role of Government in Coinage Nicole Oresm recognizes the crucial role of rulers in the process of coinage, affirming their authority to mint and regulate coins. In the 14th century, sovereigns played a pivotal role in maintaining the stability and trustworthiness of currency. Oresm underscores the significance of standardization, emphasizing the need for uniformity and integrity in coinage. This insistence on standardization was driven by the practical necessity of creating a consistent and recognizable form of currency that could facilitate trade across regions. Oresm's observations highlight the delicate balance that rulers needed to strike, exercising their authority to ensure a stable monetary system while also safeguarding against potential abuses. Understanding the historical role of government and coinage offers insights into the early stages of centralized control over currency laying the groundwork for the structured monetary systems that evolved over the centuries. Monetary Stability Nicole Oresm underscores the imperative of stability in monetary systems, cautioning against the repercussions of excessive coinage. He firmly asserts that an abundance of coins can fuel inflation, eroding the value of money. Oresm's recognition of this economic principle reflects an understanding of the delicate balance required to sustain a healthy monetary environment. In the 14th century, when physical coins were the primary form of currency, Oresm's advocacy for prudent management resonates as a call for responsible governance. His emphasis on avoiding inflationary pressures aligns with the fundamental concept that an overabundance of currency in circulation can disrupt economic equilibrium. Oresm's insights provide a historical perspective on the challenges faced by societies in maintaining the delicate balance between ensuring an adequate money supply and preventing the devaluation that can undermine economic stability. Interest in usury 
Nicole Oresm delves into the ethical dimensions of lending, condemning the practice of charging excessive interest as unjust, noting its exploitative impact on borrowers. In his exploration of usury, Oresm aligns with a moral stance, emphasizing the importance of fair and reasonable lending practices. His perspective resonates with broader ethical considerations that transcend the 14th century, touching on the fundamental principle that lending should not lead to the exploitation of those in need. Oresm's stance reflects an awareness of the potential societal harms associated with usury, where exorbitant interest rates can perpetuate cycles of debt and financial vulnerability. As such, his advocacy for ethical lending practices adds a moral compass to economic discussions, suggesting that financial transactions should be rooted in principles of fairness and compassion, a sentiment with enduring relevance in contemporary debates on economic justice, supply and demand dynamics. Nicole Oresm scrutinizes economic dynamics, emphasizing the correlation between an augmented money supply and potential inflation. His observation succinctly captures the principle that an imbalance, where the currency inflates faster than the availability of goods, can lead to economic instability. Oresm's insight underscores a fundamental understanding of the delicate equilibrium needed for a prosperous economic environment. In the 14th century, this principle held particular relevance as economies were transitioning, and Oresm's recognition of the interconnected relationship between money supply and goods availability demonstrates an early awareness of macroeconomic principles. This observation continues to echo in modern economic discourse, where maintaining equilibrium between currency circulation and the tangible goods and services it represents remains essential. Oresm's pragmatic perspective adds a historical dimension to our comprehension of supply and demand dynamics, showcasing the enduring relevance of his economic insights. Influence of Market Forces Nicole Oresm astutely acknowledges the influence of market forces on pricing, asserting that the interplay between supply and demand significantly shapes the overall economy. His recognition of this fundamental economic principle serves as a precursor to modern theories, showcasing Oresm's forward-thinking perspective. In the 14th century, as trade networks expanded, Oresm's understanding of how market dynamics impact prices reflected an emerging awareness of the complexities within economic systems. This observation stands as a testament to Oresm's foresight, providing a foundational understanding of market forces that would later become central to economic thought and policy. Oresm's grasp of these dynamics contributes to a historical narrative tracing the evolution of economic theories and their enduring relevance in understanding contemporary market dynamics. Ethical Considerations in Commerce Nicole Oresm delves into the ethical fabric of commerce, asserting the fundamental importance of honesty in transactions for the establishment of a just society. His emphasis on integrity underscores a profound understanding of the intrinsic link between ethical conduct and economic well-being. In the 14th century, as trade networks expanded, Oresm recognized the pivotal role of honesty in fostering trust and maintaining the stability of commercial interactions. His ethical stance transcends time, resonating as a timeless principle that underpins the fabric of fair and sustainable economies. Oresm's insights contribute to a broader understanding of the symbiotic relationship between ethical considerations and economic health, reinforcing the notion that a foundation built on honesty and integrity is vital for the flourishing of commerce and the overall well-being of society. Currency devaluation and consequences. Nicole Oresm issues a stern warning against currency devaluation, highlighting the corrosive effects on public trust and the potential for economic turmoil. His cautionary stance reflects a keen awareness of the repercussions associated with manipulating currency values. In the 14th century, as rulers grappled with the temptation to debase currency for short-term gains, Oresm's insights underscore the long-term consequences of such actions. His observations resonate with contemporary discussions on the risks and consequences of currency manipulation, emphasizing the enduring relevance of his economic foresight. Oresm's emphasis on the erosion of public trust as a consequence of currency debasement serves as a timeless reminder of the delicate balance required to maintain the stability and credibility of a monetary system, shedding light on the enduring challenges faced by societies in safeguarding the integrity of their currencies. Impact of Wars on Economy Nicole Oresm confronts the economic consequences of warfare, succinctly stating that conflict disrupts trade and destabilizes the economy. His observation serves as a straightforward acknowledgement of the profound link between geopolitical events and economic well-being. In the 14th century, during a period marked by regional conflicts and power struggles, Oresm's insights acquire particular significance. Wars, with their disruptive impact on trade routes and economic infrastructure, presented formidable challenges to economic stability. Oresm's recognition of this interconnectedness anticipates contemporary discussions on the economic fallout of conflicts, underscoring the enduring relevance of his pragmatic understanding. 
His straightforward assessment of the repercussions of war on the economy contributes to a nuanced understanding of historical economies and their vulnerabilities in times of conflict, resonating as a timeless consideration in the study of the intricate relationship between politics and economics. Theoretical Framework for Economic Policy Nicole Oresm offers a practical blueprint for economic governance, recommending that governments adopt policies promoting economic stability and fair trade. In the 14th century, Oresm's forward-thinking proposition laid the groundwork for subsequent economic theories. His emphasis on proactive governance reflects an early understanding of the role governments play in shaping economic outcomes. Oresm's call for policies fostering stability and fairness anticipates contemporary debates on effective economic governance. As societies grapple with the challenges of maintaining equilibrium and promoting equitable trade, Oresm's proposal resonates as a foundational principle that continues to influence discussions on the formulation and implementation of sound economic policies. Reflection on Economic Inequality Nicole Oresm exhibits foresight by addressing concerns about economic inequality, noting that disparities in wealth can potentially lead to social unrest. In the 14th century, as societies experienced shifts in economic structures, Oresm's awareness of the societal implications of wealth imbalances highlights a nuanced understanding of the challenges posed by economic inequality. His recognition of the potential for social unrest underscores the enduring nature of this issue throughout history. Oresm's observations resonate with contemporary discussions on the social consequences of economic disparities, illuminating the persistent need for societies to grapple with and mitigate the impacts of unequal distribution of wealth. This reflection on economic inequality stands as a timeless consideration, emphasizing the interconnectedness between economic disparities and social cohesion, offering valuable insights that echo across centuries. In conclusion, Nicole Oresm's On the Origin, Nature, Law, and Alterations of Money offers a comprehensive exploration of monetary systems in the 14th century. His insights into the origin, value, and regulation of money demonstrate a keen understanding of economic principles that continue to shape discussions on finance and governance. Oresm's work serves as a valuable historical foundation for contemporary economic thought, making this text a compelling read for those interested in the evolution of monetary systems and economic theories.